Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Scorpion with Mikkel, and today is the on-sale day of Beyonce's I Am Tour. So this video is all dedicated to Beyonce. If you don't like Beyonce, the damn it, click off this video and find an old show to watch. Now today, Mikkel purchased his tickets, I purchased my tickets, and you know, so Mikkel, I want to know, what did you purchase? <laughs> well, no, first of all, before we talk about Beyonce, I want to give a shout out because you know she's associated with Beyonce, Michelle Williams, because she called Mikkel, she first called me Thursday, she me then she called Mikkel Friday, and then she called into Blog TV on Saturday, and she actually talked for five minutes, and guess what, I did not get emotional, I didn't get choked up, I wasn't lost for words on Saturday, Isn't so, she the best? yes, I was like, that's the greatest phone call I ever had with her, I was like, okay, now I can't be all shy and nervous, as soon as she hung up, I screamed, I, no, I wasn't shy at all, let me say something, talking to her was like talking to one of your friends, like, it was just so, it was just so, mind you, she started, because I went to Atlantic City over the weekend uh, for one of my friend's birthday, so we went to Atlantic City and we cut up, Chow, dude, we cut up, um, but um, right before they came and got me, Michelle called and um, that just started off the whole, ah, Madison, don't even do that, you can they just started off the, um, that just started off the whole weekend, it was just so, it was so nice of her to do that. It was just so nice of her to do that. And we talked. We talked for like I think like maybe probably like five, maybe like five ten minutes. We talked. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing that we talked about that I was so glad that she brought up, mind you, she brought it up, was the media takeout thing that they had a couple of days ago about her not being a, being able to afford her oh loan stuff like that. Yes. And when she said it, I just said yes, Michelle. She was like, well, she said to me, I ain't gonna tell you everything she said because you know it's kind of private conversation. Yes. Don't hate, please don't hate. But anyway, one of the things she said was, it said that a lot of people out there actually believe yes. what they read. And it's like, Michelle, I've been saying that for the longest on this show. How many times do I say, don't, don't believe, believe me to take out? I say that all the time. Guess what Guess what? Eddie had the nerves to tell me? What? When I was telling him about the conversation with Michelle and I was telling him about the media takeout thing, he had, while we were in the pool um, on Saturday, he had the nerves to tell me, oh, I believe everything media takeout says. And I was just like... Are you serious? Uh, excuse me. Like, yes. He should. You should have said. Well, let's call Kevin. Ask Kevin and see the president of Janet Jackson's fan club. Oh okay. yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause I forgot they said she was the president of her fan club. But I mean, like people, for the last time, stop leaving us comments or stop hitting me up on my state saying, "Well, I heard this from Media Takeout or what Media Takeout said," because we don't believe what Media Takeout said. Even if it is true, we still don't believe it. Okay. Why? Because Media Takeout is run by an well, I'm I ain't even gonna start, go there, but I'm God about to start strong, making God. up. Um, I'm about to start making up stuff. Did y'all know that Beyonce is gonna play Dorothy in the Wiz remake? She already got the leading role, and nobody else is casting except for Beyonce. And Matthew Knowles is directing it and everything. And so I'm just playing Toto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Solange, right? Somebody wrote me a message saying that Solange blocked them on Twitter. One thing you don't do is you don't diss Solange because she be on your ass. Okay, they he said that Solange said she was thinking about taking a song that don't, don't nobody know. You know, I guess she's going to make it big. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh no, Solange, don't do that because you know the nose is famous for swagger jacking. Oh, so, I would have blocked, blocked you too. <laughs> you don't say stuff like so that. So he said that Solange sent him a private message telling him he was now blocked and everything. Yes, down. yes, Solange. So, Kudos for you. You don't say you don't stuff do like that. that. You just don't do that. And then and then get shocked once she blocks you. Like, hello. <laughs> I mean, you were digging the grave Wait yourself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, like I am, like I am the one that's going to help. So yeah. You. But why do people okay. do that? It, and not just you. Some people do that to me too. Like, oh, well, why does stuff? Is, like, for instance, they, it's always famous with you. They always say, well, you know, Kevin, you know, deny me. You know, Kevin blocked me. You know. So can you talk to Kevin? No, no I and cannot. Don't, and don't hit <laughs> Michelle Williams up asking <laughs> her to talk to me. And she's don't not be that. hitting me up. Cause I, you know, a couple of people. It seems like everybody when I told them that I was speaking to Michelle, everybody was like, "What did you ask her about Beyonce?" No. no, I was talking to Michelle. She and I were having a conversation. Beyonce didn't come up not one time. Okay. See, Michelle doesn't act. He doesn't use someone to get to someone else. Now, didn't we, we tell you before? We that don't do that. If Kelly is in an interview, 
It should be about Kelly. Not about Michelle. Michelle's Kelly. interview about Michelle. Everybody on Black TV. Ask her about Michelle. Ask her about Beyonce. No. Ask her about how do she feel. No. 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 We don't do that. That's not it what we no do. It wasn't no interview. It was a surprise phone call. And Michelle actually, I mean, she was so sincere when she was telling me that she loved this show. I mean, she was just, she said that she hopes and pray that we actually get to, I mean, it was just like, I cannot believe. Then she was babysitting her uh, god kids and you could hear them in the background. It was, oh my god. I was like, oh my god, like, I can't believe what I'm talking to Michelle. Oh my god. Michelle, Michelle is the best. Michelle is the best. And at the end of, oh, I'm sorry, but at the end of our conversation, so, you know, I says, well, you know, Michelle, now, now that I talk to you, I'm about to go and turn on my favorite Destiny Child song of all time. And she goes, yes, free. I was like, ah! <laughs> Tell y'all something, Michelle. Thank you again for that phone call. It was the best. It was the best. Okay. How many people? No, hold on. How many people can say that Michelle Williams called their phone? Oh yeah, but was I best there? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm gonna let's talk about these tickets, 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 tickets. Now, first of all, I woke up. Late today. I woke up like around 2 o'clock. Yo, get off that. Woo. I don't live here. And I got a surprise for you after this camera go off. But Michelle was not the surprise that you told me. But I got another surprise for Michelle. Because this is the all, all things Beyonce video. So. You have a surprise for me? Yeah. Why can't you do it on camera? I mean, it's not about Beyonce. I can tell you now. What's well, about? the Philadelphia Weekly. Damn, this is what's supposed to be about Beyonce. But hey. The Philadelphia Weekly. Mm -hmm. He had emailed me. The guy emailed me from there. He's like, even though she's no longer with us, Kelly. Murphy, oh yeah. Even though she's no longer with us, mm -hmm. they still want to do an interview. And he was thinking about coming here. <laughs> and the thing is, I said, if you want to come here, you want to meet my family. You want to meet people walking in and out. Are you sure you ready for that? No, 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 no. You are not ready for here. We will meet you somewhere else. <laughs> He wants to meet this week, so yeah. Shh. We have to, we have to get back to him. Chow, duh. He don't want to see how we get the show together. No, he don't. Oh, no, he don't. He don't want to see how many times we have to do a take before we actually start the actual video. Oh well, that's sometimes. I, I haven't hit stop in a while. Now, if it's just me, you damn right, I'm gonna hit stop till I get it right. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it to stop. Like, no, that ain't come out right. Boop, just stop. Oh my god. Okay, now you bought one of the packages. Yes, I did. Now I didn't. I'm confused. How did you get? But if the tickets don't go on sale to Saturday, how did you get your regular ticket? Mm, because I got it like that. No, seriously, how'd you get it? Because, come on now, do you know who I am? The Scorpion. Oh, excuse the hell out of me. Oh, excuse me. Well, you must not know this about what me. This is what happened. This is what happened. So like, actually I'm sitting there on Twitter. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh my God, can somebody please give me the Beyonce code? <laughs> Let me tell you what somebody's going to do. They're going to write up, they're going to uh, copy my message and forward my message to one of the Music World members that's on Twitter. Like he going to beat me down or something because I want the damn talk to the password. They're here drilling and shit. But, um, you know, I, I said, well, fuck it. You know, ain't nobody going to give me the code. So it's $20 more to join the fan club. So when, once you buy your regular ticket, you can buy your fan club date attached to twenty dollars on. So that's how I got my regular ticket. And actually, I didn't buy one ticket. I bought what two tickets. Who did you buy the ticket, the second ticket for? I don't know yet. I don't know who's the second ticket for. Why don't you give it? You should split for somebody in this house. I don't know who the other ticket is for. I want to. I want that ticket to be someone who I'm going to have fun with. Okay. You can. Why you You can have fun with Amber. I bought that ticket not for a family member. Well, who you I didn't buy it for? for you. I didn't buy it for well, you. Well, of course you didn't buy it. I know I you know. bought one of them I am packages. You know, you my ticket. Look, I had to. Well, how much I was, was ticket? forced to buy it because see, <coughs> this is where we was going to. I was going to be in section 114. But then, oh, you were going to be there. I didn't want the floor. This is why I don't want the floor. I don't do the First of all, I see that Beyonce is performing on two stages. No, bitch. You're not going to give me what I want on the stage. And then it might be a song that I really love. And I gotta, people got to stand over top of me. I mean, people going to be standing in front of their seats. And I can't see the performance. No. And I've seen Beyonce in London. I was like seven. 
either like the seventh row, seven like seven or eighth row. I done seen her up close. Then I seen her in section four, three and four back here, mm -hmm. where everybody I couldn't see a damn thing because everybody was standing in their chairs. And no, Beyonce, I done seen you twice. I already know what you want to give me, so I'm going to sit on the sidelines this time and I'm going to enjoy the show. So. My ticket was one hundred and thirteen dollars. Well, this stage is only old songs. This stage is all the new. The only new song she Look, does on this child. stage is video phone. Hold on, let me tell you. I ain't got time for that. Uh uh, no. Well, I, I, it's not. It's fine because I ain't sitting there anyway. <laughs> you wanna know where I'm sitting there? Where row are you sitting in, Mikael? I'm sitting in section two, okay. which is in the front, okay. the first row. So for those of you that don't know what that means, that means that the first row, there's no one sitting in front of me but the stage. Hmm. So eat your heart and don't even ask how much did I pay. And no, I, look, even though Mikel got front row, I'm still gonna do something at that show that's gonna outshine that motherfucker. Cause Beyonce not gonna pull him up on stage and not remember that the score. Let me tell you something. Building. I'm gonna get my head extra bald so she can see me. When I say I'm gonna put all this oil on my head, so she gonna notice this ball here while she's singing Broken Hearted Girl or while she's singing Sweet Love, and she gonna say, Yo, Mikhail, my man, I'm like. Let me tell you something, Mikel is going to pass out. He's not going to be on the Scorpion show no more after June 26th. I can if tell she you that If she say something to me, you know how she starts singing to me, I'm going to be like that. <gasps> you know how those Michael Jackson concerts be when them motherfuckers be passed out and they be flying all around the crowd and stuff? That's going to be Mikel. Well, yeah, it's going to be Mikel. Well, you know, the only reason why I got front row is because when I went to the Oxford Experience, I was sitting like in the uh, fifth row, right? fifth or sixth row, but my original seat was in on the floor, but it was in the section behind that. Mm -hmm. So, but I, oh, I, I, I was able to move up because of Polo. He had his seats up there. But then I made a promise to myself: whenever she comes back to Philly, I'm going to be even closer. And voila, I kept that now. Promise. Not unless Beyonce give us front row, like another give me a front row. I'm gonna still be sitting in section one thirteen. Oh, that's the one of the ladies. Yes. So if you want to find me, I'll be in section. So are we still? I don't. 113. And Mikel and I are still going to do a little contest where we are actually giving tickets away to the Sasha. Sasha. Maybe you should give that ticket away. The I am tour. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should give that ticket away that you bought. Because my pockets is, ah, is on ah, lockdown no. after this ticket. Ah, no, y'all let me know what I should do with that other ticket. Because I you should. should. No, I want it to be with somebody that I'm going to have fun with. If I'm not going to have fun with you, I'm going to just kick you out the damn concert. No, and you already know I'm going to be drinking. So... If you don't drink, that's definitely not a plus. So something. this ticket is probably gonna be for somebody over twenty-one. Beyonce, oh my God! Not only did Beyonce break my pockets today, <laughs> but I'm she broke my pockets so bad I can't even walk in the damn street. That's how broke I am. Like, like, no, she didn't break me. <laughs> she didn't break me that bad. But how much was that ticket? Was that the four hundred twenty-five dollar ticket? Because I should have bought that if you did. Actually, it was. I could have bought that. I could have bought that today. Because but this no. one right here, this on stage pack, is right here in the pink. Uh -uh, That's in no. the pink. Uh -uh, I don't want to sit over there. Yeah, you're not. Si actually, you're not sitting in the stage. Beyond, there. you are right smack dab I'm in right the middle, here. Mikel. I'm right here. So you're in the right middle. Here. In front row. Smack dab in the middle. So what does that mean? Bitch, be honest, she gonna be right in front of you for two hours. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> so that means that right there. Oh, what was that? Well, look. Well, what, no, what did you just say? Huh? What did you just say to me? She's gonna be like. No, what did you say after that? What? Congra congratulations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. All oh, the single leg. Oh, she's gonna see me. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Now, bitch. Oh, oh, Miss oh, Shannon oh. Jackson, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You ain't giving me what I wanted. Now I gotta get it from Sasha. Okay, I'm looking at these dates, and I'm look, I ain't gonna lie, I'm looking at these dates, the same cities that Beyonce going to, it's the same city Janice supposed to go to, so then I'm like, oh my god, I'm kind of scared, because what if something happened to Beyonce, which can't show you know, up? I don't understand, but I, is why is there less U.S. tour dates this tour than it was? Because Beyonce is a married woman. But I'm saying, like, it's. I feel bad for a lot of people because of the fact that a lot of people were hitting me up saying, you mean tell me she's not coming here? She had more U.S. dates. Hell and I think what it is is they're waiting to see. I know that Beyonce can sell. That's no doubt about yeah, it. Yeah, well, we know she can sell. I but think I'm just that saying, they're like, probably why? waiting to see what's going to happen before they add more dates. And you know what I'm really surprised about? That Beyonce is opening up in New York. Yeah, that's crazy. She's opening up in New York. I, I, honestly, God, I can't think of anywhere else that she would film the um, DVD. 
Philly. But Philly, 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 Philly got the hype. Let me tell you something. If you don't live in Philly, you need to come to Philly. We are the hype. If you ain't giving us what you got, we will boo the shit out of you. Let me tell you something. We gave. Beyonce didn't want to leave us back in 2007. Now from, no shade, but I heard leave. when Tyra was in Philly, that Philly crowd was more live than the LA audience. Oh, of course it was. They had they almost bum rushed Tyra Banks in the hall. Her and Matthew, because you know her and Matthew were walking in the hall. They had they almost bum rushed them. Of course, you can see that on the Tyra Banks show when she was here in Philly. The Philly crowd was so live when I saw the live in Atlanta. I mean, the live in LA DVD. I was just like. Because it was certain parts of the DVD where Beyonce was telling them to stand up. And I'm thinking, like, Beyonce never told us to stand up because we was on our feet for that whole two hours. Dancing and singing. Who, who would you ever have the time to stand up, though? For real. Lanes. For real. Lanes. Why would you even sit down at a concert like that? Child, let me tell you. And this is no shade. No shade to Michelle. That's the only time I've seen them sit down and they motherfucking tried it. Who? When Michelle came out when, on the uh, That's Me Fulfilled tour. But let me say something. Next time, that's the next time that's it. But let me say something. Let me say something. Next time that's Michelle come back out, I be, I doubt if they'll be on their feet. I'm um, sitting down this time. Oh my God! Can you just imagine Michelle now? Okay, she done got her hair cut. It's gonna be a 360 degree. Uh, I think 180. When 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 uh when Destiny Child do when they do finally come back out with like a reunion tour or something like that the concert's going to be so over the top and it's going to be so dramatically different because of the fact that michelle has changed her whole image and she's changed her sound um kelly she's beyonce she um Ke kelly she's um Ke well we'll just get back to kelly um, Kelly got the fashion show. Kelly is working yeah, on the Kelly music. Yeah, Kelly has the fashion show. Um, Kelly, every all, all the members are doing their thing. C Michelle, I'm gonna tell you one more time. Congratulations, girl. That is a big role that you have, and congratulations. Are to you gonna tell me the secret after we turn the camera off? Huh? Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I I'm your co-host. I've been sworn to. Oh, you can. Oh, fuck. Never mind. But if y'all been following Michelle on Twitter, y'all know that she's been studying for a role. Oh, I've been following her, but I don't know which role it is. Oh, yeah. She's, she's been studying Oh, she did get the part? Yeah. In the movie or stage? I'm not telling you. Okay. You don't get off of that door, I'm going to stomp the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you I don't want to be without you, baby. I don't want a broken heart. Don't want to take a breath without you, baby. I don't want to play that part. Sing it, B. I know that I love you, but let me just say, I don't want to love you in no kind of way. No, no. I don't want a broken heart. I don't want to play the broken hearted girl. No, no. No broken hearted girl. Wait, 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 wait. The class is my favorite that. part. Now I'm in a place I thought I'd never be. Ooh, I'm living in a world that's all about you and me. Yeah, ain't gotta be afraid. My broken heart is free. Spread my wings and fly away, away with you. I can't do that part, but there you go. Yeah, that's what they'll finish it. Come on, finish it. Oh, 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 no, Beyonce's here now. <laughs> I don't want to be without you, baby. I don't want to broke your okay, heart. All right, Patty. I don't want to take a breath without you, baby. I don't want to play that part. I know that I love you. With that. Am, I, am I Kelly and Michelle or what? What's going on? No, you the mamas. Oh. <laughs> well, I forgot. Oh. You fit the bill of yeah. the mamas. I tried it, but then they some voluptuous ladies. Yes, they are. So are you. <laughs> He's and a voluptuous lady. Other places, but um, child, please. That faith, that make that make faith you got right now. But um, yes, Beyonce is coming to Philadelphia June 26. If I get up, it's going to be trouble. I don't live here, and I don't know how many times I have to say it, but I really don't live here. Close the front door. This is such a ghetto video. And that guy wants to come here? Close the door! Watch out, watch out, watch out. I, I, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh -uh, no. If you don't give it to her, I'm taking my daughter. I, I don't got, no, see, no. This is what you do. You don't got time to keep talking to children. 
Once they see you stand up to attention, oh, now they want to listen. Child. Thank God I ain't had Yeah, I said I don't have no children. So, no, let me stop. Children. Oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Michelle, remember that conversation we had on Friday about me not liking kids? Prime example. Prime example, honey. See, you laughed when you found out. When I said, this is the why. This is why, honey. This is why. Yes. And I commend you for babysitting three kids that didn't even belong to you. <laughs> three? I think you said it was three. Yeah, I think it was three. I think she said three of her godchildren. Michelle must be an excellent godmother because I can only do probably two. Two? I can't do one. Well, one is fine. Cause I couldn't even watch Daddy Daycare because I was annoyed at all those damn kids running around. Do not get beat up. What's the matter with you? Why don't you she listen? She wants attention. I'm not her mother and I Why can't give it listen? to her. You need to listen before I take my hat off. Listen. Because I'm going to take this big belt off. Child. Okay. No, we don't need you to sing too. Listen I don't now. play with children, okay? Turn around and stop looking at me. Turn around. Had to bust out her lips early. Who she think? Who do these children think they talking to? Mom's Mabley. Shit. We have to call somebody today. No, bitch. We won't keep finna talk about Beyonce. Let's talk about our favorite Beyonce performances. We got favorite Beyonce performance. Well, I have a lot. Okay, let me just go down. From the a list. tour. Let me go. Just go down the list. My favorite Beyonce song is Crazy in Love. My favorite Beyonce vocal performance is Super Bowl 2004. My favorite Beyonce video is Single Ladies. Um, did you see Beyonce over the weekend in New York City on Saturday with those heels and that skirt on? My God was killing it. Okay? With those new Louis Vuitton, her and Jay-Z, they were walking down the street and of course stop people. They said people were actually getting out of their cars to take pictures of them. And they act Beyonce actually stopped them and was shaking so many people's hands. I mean This is what yes. I do. This is this is what I wanna understand, okay? Yes. I know that they married and stuff. But if you walking with someone down the street, why do one gotta walk like five steps ahead of the other? But that's not what they were doing this time. No, I, I don't know if I didn't see the pictures, but that's but what I wanna know. Like why do they do that? But it's not just them. Anybody, but but most of the time when I see a picture of Beyonce and Jay Z, they are so distant and like she's five steps ahead. Well, or he's five steps ahead. Well, of you her. know something, stuff like that because they're not the only ones that do it. But stuff like that, I really don't pay too much attention to it. You know why? Because they're still together. So what does it matter? No, I'm just saying though. But why? If you're a couple, why can't well, you walk wanna, together? But you know, we're not going to ever get that answer. Most couples don't walk together. Some, no. couples, some couples be walking down the street arguing. Just think I like for instance, it's the same couple, the same man and lady that lives around the corner from me. Not every morning, but this morning, as soon as you said it, it's just mine. But this morning they were outside, 6.30 in the morning, arguing again. People are still sleeping. Nobody wants to hear you. Guess what she had oh. the nerve to say to him one day? What? You and that little ass limp dick, all you want to do is hit it from the back. I said, guess what some lady did? Some lady that they were on the block arguing, the lady yelled out the window and said, I'm calling the cops. I said, yeah, she needs to call the cops because don't nobody want to hear you arguing and like them dick, why are you laying with what? them? Yeah, but, me? Why are you? but see, that's her kid's father. But my thing and, is, but you know, I think they're both drunks. Yeah. I think they're both drunk. But my thing is, come on, nobody wants to hear that early in the morning. You know what I mean? Like, who needs to know that all he wants to do is hit it from the back? I don't know why he wants to hit it from the back the way you look. Because you can't be too cheap in the back the way you look in the front. But maybe that's why he want to hit it from the back. Because he's not that face that he's looking at and laying with. Well, I'm surprised she's letting him hit it anyway. Mm, this is another day. They both look another day. Do that, child. They look like all dogs going to have heaven part now, if three. Y'all, if you go to Mikel house trying to knock on his door because you think that you ugly, then you already know that you ugly. Okay? Wait, I don't get it. Okay, they're going to be not. Was you talking about me? Oh. Excuse me, you talk, You call me ugly? I ain't say it, but no, if I didn't call the way you feel, you know. I didn't call the money. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Okay, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. That's why I didn't say it. You know what? Maybe we should do a video letting them end the video. Who? Wait, we should do what? We should do what? We should do what? I was going to do a video with them, but never mind. No, no, not today. No, no. They don't know how to act. Madison and Tibby, but no. Yeah, they don't listen. They don't listen. Mm, Especially no. Tibby. Mm, yeah. Then I messed this whole Beyonce video up because I got to yell and scream at y'all, take my belt off and threaten y'all. That's okay. They're used to it. Mm.
I'm sure they couldn't wait for me to say I don't live here again. Okay, and, and that, somebody actually, I think they said that they have um a shirt that says Bye Girl Flag or something like that, or I Flag. Bye, no, we're going to get some shirts made. Yeah, I'm going to trademark it. And by the way, go to my website, www.thescriptmeshow.com. I know our inside Jerome's media take out the YBF and all of them. But if y'all keep coming in, maybe we can get some they like them, you know? We can get a better layout and everything. And I need y'all to support the Scorpion Show. Who said, mm? This one right here. Okay, let me tell y'all something. If you could, no, I'm not going to tell you. No, I'll tell y'all. You can make a lot of money running a website. You can make a lot of money, so. You can make a lot of money running your mouth. That's what we do here. That's Look what YouTube Oprah. pays Look us. Look Oprah. Okay. No, YouTube don't pay me nothing. Well, if you don't want to check. Ah, don't put your hands on me, sweetheart. <laughs> Look at Oprah. She makes billions of dollars just by running her mouth. Mm. Bill, Bill Give us mouth. a show. We need a white audience, YouTube. We don't have a white audience. We, if you know any white friends, can you please tell them, hey, Mikael, what? You I'm looking for the phone number that we can call that if guy. If that's Kayla Fierce, because no, Kayla is... I said is, guy, you talking oh. about Kayla. Don't talk about Kayla, that's my good girlfriend. Miss Kayla always want to erase everybody out Beyonce's picture and act like she was there when she was. Yeah, Kayla, why do you do that? I, I think she's going to write Michelle today. <laughs> Say you what? know, I'm not even going... No, we're not even going to go there. So I, 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 I'm not I, taking no pictures. I of guess me. she must wrote Michelle as Destiny's Child opening up for Beyonce. But well, some shenanigans like that. What? And how, wait said, a minute, how can Destiny's Child open up from Beyonce when Beyonce's a part of Destiny's Child? Well, child, I mean, it's, it's Mich Michelle and Kelly, you know, Kelly and Michelle opening for her. And what did Michelle uh, say? Uh, she's like, well, if that was true, it wouldn't be a secret, you know? I mean, you know, it can't that. be a secret. That's what Michelle said that? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Michelle but was, it's not. Michelle was getting, getting her back. I'm going to tell you right now, Destiny's Child, y'all can forget that for right now. Y'all can forget that. And Kelly ain't tell me that. Michelle ain't tell me that, okay? They ain't, they ain't trying to get back together yet. Can I have some kids first? That was time too, anyway. I Shit. said it would always be nice if they got back together back, let's say, in 2005 uh, when they broke to, up. Kelly about to do an album. Michelle doing her thing. Like, child. Beyonce doing her thing. Sometimes blocking people on Twitter and shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm feeling this drink right now. I think you we should are. make another video. We are. Come on, let's put the camera first. All right, YouTube, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I was really feeling this drink. I really am. <laughs> oh, happy 420. Oh, one more thing. If you smoke weed, go ahead and smoke weed. It's, it's 420. But I don't smoke weed. Maybe what two times a year. What does that mean? It's 420. Oh, 420. That's for the lighting up day. Smoke weed. Marijuana day. April 20th. You know, also... I didn't know that. Please pray for the family of the Columbine victims because you know they probably feel some type of way today. It's the 10 year anniversary of that horrible, horrible crime that happened in um, Denver, Colorado. Or was it Boulder, Colorado? Um, I, don't, I think it was Columbine. Yeah. Littleton, Littleton, Colorado. Littleton, I was in Colorado. the um, seventh grade when that happened. I'll never forget that. I came home from school and my mom I was, was watching TV in the kitchen and I saw it. Seventh grade. I cannot believe that. Wow. My, my, my. Tom Tom Tom. Ten yes. years ago, I was in the seventh grade. Now look at me, sitting next to this 700-pound gorilla. Child, please. These girls wish I was 700 pounds. They should see the other thing that's 700 pounds. Talk to y'all soon.